Hi, uh, this is uh, Rooney207. Uh, welcome back. Uh, for this episode, we'll talk about uh, League of Kingdoms and how I've learned from uh, Rise of Kingdoms, and I'm applying some of the uh, learnings um, as a free-to-play um, player. Within uh, Rise of Kingdoms, what I did was I sold uh, resources. I uh, just gathered a lot of resources. I, I was uh, fairly active. Um, and I gathered a lot of resources and I sold them for PayPal and that's how I monetized uh, Rise of Kingdoms. Uh, for League of Kingdoms, I uh, I started out doing a similar approach. What, um, what I did was I sold resources in uh, League of Kingdoms to other players. They'll just um, burn my cities, um, burn the castles that I have. I have um, a few um, alt accounts that I was uh, collecting and then I sold that. I um, I used that, that initial uh, funding to buy my my land that I I bought in the um, in the uh, that was sold directly from um, N plus, and well, well, what I did was I collected the die in, initially, then that got converted to the uh, the loca tokens, and from uh, from that piece, what uh, what I've done is um, I try to play a role where I I didn't maximize my academy. So if you look on here uh, on my screen, I uh, I still have a lot of um, areas to develop, and I, I actually didn't even um, max my production or anything like that because I, I think as long as you're in a strong enough alliance, the alliance uh, gathering tech, and also you, you don't really uh, need to gather a lot. Uh, also, as you can see, even as... Um, Let's see here. If we go to the uh, the rankings uh, page here, we go to the, my alliance uh, ranking, and as you can see, I'm number three on the list with 13 billion uh, plus uh, resources gathered. And in reality, uh, 13 billions is is really nothing. So uh, gathering uh, 13 billion resources t uh, takes uh, forever, and that's not how you're going to uh, maximize your resources. Uh, what, how what you're going to do it is just buy them and then also you get bonuses so when when you actually gather the um, the resources and what you want to do is you you want to gather um, the nodes and within the nodes you get uh, you get bonuses they'll have um, they'll have these tokens these resource tokens that you can open um, I don't know if I have one up here this is like a, an example you have with these resource box and they come in different levels depending on your gathering and what you do is you just um, you open these and then you you get resources resource tokens and as you can see over time my uh, resource uh, tokens and this is after I've gone through a fairly intensive um, uh, continent versus continent event and you can see I still have um, a fairly decent amount of uh, resources here and so the the goal is to accumulate all these resources through the um, tokens and what I what I do is I go to the uh, the VIP shop and um, I I actually just um, pick them up from the uh, the VIP shop so on a regular basis uh, what I'll do is uh, and then the the daily shop here as you can see I I still buy even as many resources I have I still buy because at the end of the day you, you never know you'll run into an uh, an ultra intensive um, CVC where you'll probably uh, I don't even know dra uh, drain quite a large number of re uh, resource pool, reserve pool you have and I, I think it's important so I I buy all of these um, uh, all of these items from the daily uh, shop and uh, the action point and the speed ups uh, I just buy whatever makes sense even if they, they use crystals because at the end of the day you gather crystals you get them free from uh, monsters from DKs and uh, spartoids and CVCs and uh, things like that. So you and I think you get you get a fairly uh, large number of um, of crystals in the continent versus continent. This past one I got the, around seven hundred fifteen thousand uh, crystals. So, so it's a it's a decent amount from, and I, I have yet to reach a, a million uh, crystals gathered in a single uh, continent versus continent. It's a, that, that's a pretty uh, large number, I think. So the, the to to summarize uh, some of the points is basically I gather resources, and right now it's uh, it's too cheap to sell them, so you you don't really want to sell them. So what you want to do is uh, save them and use them for your own uh, CVC. And what you want to do is uh, go all out on 
maybe every three CBC. So you want to have a strategy where the most of your strategy you're going to probably gather, do spartoids and contribute. And you want to definitely finish all the check marks, all the tasks for the uh, weekly items and all the major milestones. And you want to place, you want to do um, Magdar if you're, um, you're fortunate enough to have your alliance and your continent participate in that. And also you want to be able to uh, gain um, in the top th uh, 300 or 500 placements, whatever that meets a little bit of the loca piece, you can start out, you can build slowly, and then you can stack it over time. And then um, you can take that. And if you find like a land that's cheap enough or a Drago, that's a good deal that you can use for this upcoming Drago to build to uh, breed them. If you get um, two of them or more, you get, you, you'll, you'll need quite a few Dragos so over time. So you'll need to breed and buy and it'll just kind of become more of a, a farming mechanism uh, for you. And then you'll be able to uh, gather. Hopefully uh, resources in the future will be more restrictive and uh, there will be fewer and fewer bot, uh, bot accounts or accounts that are, have that capability to be able to um, generate. Uh, they, they have to have uh, dragos and things like that. So there, there has to be an initial investment by the bot owners. Um, so it's not a uh, easy thing anymore. Um, it's It's still not that difficult but it's not as easy so they that there is a barrier to entry a hurdle rate there uh the um, so i i think what's most important is to be able to stack your inventory uh, get as many resources as you can and uh, you don't have to worry about the uh, vip token as you can see like um i'm I've not, I've not bought anything. The only thing I've done for is I bought the last 10,000 points of for VIP 17. I just didn't want to wait. I just used 10,000 crystals to buy them. But um, at the end of the day, all, all you have to do is um, participate in uh, continent versus continent. And over a few con um, successive events, you'll be able to get to VIP 17. It's pretty quick right now. I think in the future, um, N plus may nerf the process. So hopefully you'll be able to do it a little bit faster. And they'll probably introduce VIP 18 uh, soon as well and things like that. But you, you can do it for free. You don't have to spend any money. Uh, and uh, I think that's the nice thing about this game so far is that you actually don't have to spend money um, to to be relatively successful. You're not going to be a, um, a strong rally leader and you're not going to be the most successful because as you can see, um, even I'll uh, show you an example here in my situation i try to merge some of my uh city skins because um at the end of the day i'm, I'm just left with the christmas and um that's it i, I tried to merge and then i got one that's um kind of worthless stuff uh, for the five speed but um you, as a as a free to play player it'll take me a while to uh, move up to a decent uh, city skin so but right there that like restricts me from being a rally leader so what i i want to do is more play defensive and then have uh, as many resources speed ups and action points to support my alliance and my continent to get the maximum possible points i know i won't place in the top 10 but uh, I can one of these uh, continent versus continent um, potentially um, place in the top 20 uh, overall. Um, so I, I think that's a feasible uh, goal, um, but I, I won't be able to do it consistently because uh, I'm, not, I'm not spending and also I'm not reinvesting in the same way that uh, a typical uh, rally leader or a top, a top tier uh, player, uh, you just, can't do it. It's just not uh, feasible. And then also, I uh, I also sell the loca token to reinvest in other projects that provide staking liquidity pool that has earnings. Until um, N plus creates a mechanism for me to build to sustain and get residual income uh, staking from the uh, loca uh, component of it, where I stake it on the continent. So there there has to be some value outside of it. Uh, currently, uh, I have like 118 loca staked on on my continent four but uh you know there's there's not a lot of incentives maybe after to um later today after the uh the drago um ama they'll, they'll come up with a another process but uh, essentially so i i gather resources i get as uh, many uh loca and loca vouchers as i can from the continent versus continent event and then i gain as many um action point as possible and I leverage those uh, action points as you can see I uh, went through a 
continent versus continent where I spent uh, around three, 300, maybe 350,000 action point in total. Um, and I, I still have some left here and I, I try to buy, buy them from as many places as possible. So like one of the places I'm buy them is uh, actually my, uh, my alliance um, and also the uh, Congress or any of the shrines uh, as well. So we can, um, what, what I try to do is buy uh, from the metals that I, I get on a bi-weekly basis. I try to buy the advanced teleport, the shields. Usually I buy three of each. And then the remaining ones, I, I, I don't buy the, um, any of these legendary um, treasure pieces because I just try to earn them or use them the daily because my goal is uh, I'm not going to be a top tier rally leader for, uh, for my alliance. I, maybe I'll eventually end up, but it's just not a priority for me because uh, I'm, I'm not going to place into the top um, 10 of the continent versus continent. That's uh, that's not what I view as my role. So I I don't buy any of these uh, speed ups either because um, I get them in different ways. But I do focus on the action points. I buy these uh, these 100 or the 50 uh, action point uh, tokens. And uh, let's see here. Um, and then I just try to uh, participate and do as many of these uh, monster uh, events and uh, monster raids. And then on a uh, on a daily basis, I try to meet uh, meet these and then clear, except for a continent versus continent, I may not always complete the daily one because um, well, the, con uh, the, uh, the CVC itself doesn't really uh, enable you to complete these on a regular basis consistently because you have war, you have other things, other priorities, and we always have to follow what our uh, leadership uh, recommends or asks us to, uh, so that uh, their request always takes precedence over any, any of these small uh, minor um, uh, things that you want to accomplish because it's it's not meeting the priority of the uh, alliance nor the continent itself. Um, so it's uh, it's important to uh, contribute uh, to the the leadership and the, uh, their direction because at, at the end of the day they they have a lot of experience and I I think they um, your leadership I, I don't I don't think over the long term they would steer you wrong. They they have a, a pretty good. Um, uh, experience in this area, especially if you belong to one of the older continents. So you, you'll you reach a point where also like long term, you'll have to consider and this, this might be a few years into it where your alliance may outgrow you and your continent may outgrow you from the standpoint as they may develop where you have to pay to win ultimately. A lot of players, too many players in your continent are going to be payers I into the system. So you're going to have to migrate to a, to a uh, maybe a mid-tier or even uh, earlier uh, continent to be able to contribute in a meaningful manner. So no matter what, your objective should be able to contribute in some way in a meaningful manner to um, your alliance and your continent, and then also to the continent versus continent uh, process in order to uh, receive your uh, loca and your loca vouchers. And I, I think from there you can... Um, you can compound your return in um, in a meaningful and sustainable way in different capacity. Um, there's mechanisms, and I've covered in the previous video what, what I was doing with my loca and loca vouchers. Um, as you can see, uh, if I max out um, um, slightly over, uh, I think somewhere between 170, 175 million uh, power, and I think I'll maybe get a little bit above that in the next uh, continent versus continent. Um, so I'm. Um, I'm not that uh, high up in terms of uh, uh, in terms of power uh, ranking, and as you can see, I don't have the city skins, I don't have dragos, um, I don't have the uh, the war, um, the, the horn uh, there, and then also um, in terms of my, I'm almost done here. I'm almost a hundred percent done with this, so I'll, I'll get all this done before I think the next continent versus continent. I, j I just need to max the uh, archers uh, piece. To, and then um, the advanced one, I, I have pretty far uh, to go in, in terms of the advance. I, I max and uh, finish some of them, but um, you know, in, in, in general, I, I still have a good bit to go here. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm just working through them. So overall, I'm about 50% um, or a little bit more than 50% total uh, for the advance. And I'm still working through, um, uh, through that uh, component of it. 
And I think uh, the, uh, the other uh, piece is when you look at the uh, treasures, because I'm not really focused on it. And as you can see, I'm, uh, I'm active. I, I'm, I maxed out my, uh, my Lord. So my Lord level is 50. I've uh, maxed that out, and I maxed out my VIP 17. So th those two are, it's a reflection of how active you are within the continent versus continent. So I think if you're able to achieve a uh, pretty sustainable um, activity level, you can max uh, level 50 and level 17 uh, fairly quickly for VIP. And in terms of like um, the mastery piece, you have 80. I've gotten the 80 uh, points, and then the uh, treasure piece as you can see um the, these are that are actually from the continent versus continent they're they're pretty uh, uh attainable because you just use crystals uh, that you get uh, from the continent versus continent so you can max them out fairly quickly and then as you can see here i have not maxed out uh, these legendary ones they t they take some time and um so we'll we'll see i'm working on the uh, heavenly berry here so I'm trying to get that to level four, uh, four, uh, four star here pretty quickly, and then I should be able to get uh, the five star done before the next uh, continent versus continent. So that that means all I all I need is probably I'll probably go for this one, um, the Perdition's Blade to max next. So that's probably my next objective to uh, max this, and I, I might be able to do it during the uh, continent versus continent. Uh, th this one here because uh, we, we do get a lot of the uh, legendary drops as well um, and as you can see the other one I'm not a uh, pay to win in terms of spending or I didn't convert uh, you can use your loco vouchers to buy the packages so I'll end up most likely doing that for the, uh, the uh, this uh, war horn here and that helps with training so the uh, the, the training piece helps uh, significantly to, um, to accelerate and be more competitive and to build train um, more troops or on a cheaper basis, so equating to uh, more troops. And it allows you to uh, get there into the top uh, 10 a lot easier within the uh, continent versus continent events. Um, I think this is pretty much it, and I try to accumulate as many resources and uh, resource uh, tokens as possible to uh, stay um, be active and then uh, for this you just try to uh, use it wisely and then the, the teleport here uh, is something that's uh, that's important too I I haven't gotten mine to level two yet hopefully soon and uh, this is um, it for this video and thank you so much for your time